Hello and Bach humbug. Today we'll be making Jung Jung Spare Ribs, which is a sweet and sour sauce made out of Chinese black rice vinegar called Jung Jung or Ching Kang. The first thing you'll need is a slab of spare ribs with the membrane removed. These ribs are from a local pig and they were given to me by the good people over at Noble County Meats while I was filming my Oklahoma Onion Burgers documentary. We visited some of the most famous onion burger joints in Oklahoma and then we went and toured Noble County Meats and made some onion burgers out of one of their prize winning steers, Sirloin. Then they gave me a bunch of free meat and I'm making a video out of said meat so I guess technically that makes them my first sponsor. Thanks Noble County Meats. Be sure to go check out that video. I'll put a link in the description and at the end of this video as well as a link to Noble County Meats. Cut the slab into individual ribs. Now let's make the marinade. In a bowl add one tablespoon of corn flour, three tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of Chinese rose wine. If you don't have Chinese rose wine you can use Lebanese rose water, one teaspoon of white pepper, and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Mix everything well, then transfer your ribs to a shallow container. Cover with the marinade and give them a toss. Make sure they're laying meat side down. Cover, refrigerate, and marinate for at least two hours. While they're marinating, let's make the sauce. Finally chop nine cloves of garlic and about four to six inches of ginger. Then set it aside in a bowl. Now in a mixing bowl, add half a cup and two tablespoons of chinjang vinegar. If you don't have any, you can substitute balsamic. Three fourths cup of sugar, three tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. If you don't have light or dark soy sauce, you can substitute a quarter cup of soy sauce, one teaspoon of white pepper, and two and a half cups of hot water. Mix well until the sugar is dissolved, about 60 seconds. Now we have our ribs that have been marinating overnight. We're gonna to toss them in the marinade one more time just to get them nice and coated. Now place a large pan over high heat for about two minutes. Then add a couple tablespoons of oil and place your ribs in meat side down. After about three minutes, transfer them to a plate. Reduce the heat to low and add another tablespoon of oil. Then add your garlic and ginger and cook for about 60 seconds, stirring constantly. Now add your ribs back to the pan and then your sauce. Cut the heat back up to high and let it come to a boil. Then reduce it back down to low and make sure to turn the ribs about every 10 minutes. Once they're tender and the meat is easily coming off the bone, transfer them to a plate and cut the heat back up to high. Let it cook all the way down to a syrup consistency. Then cut the heat off. Add your ribs back to the pan and toss them one more time. Then plate them however you like. I like to garnish mine with a little bit of scallion and Thai chili. I served these later that day with a chili bamboo corn salad to wood-burning artist Noah Nelson of Noah's Art for the series Lunch with Lebanezer. If you haven't heard of that yet, it's a series where I interview artists, musicians, comedians, actors, chefs, or anyone I just find interesting or inspiring, all while cooking them a 10-course meal. It premieres June 1st, so be sure to check it out this summer. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks to Noble County Meats for sponsoring this video. Goodbye, good night, and as always, Bah humbug.